everybody, it's Fan. And Life Off Gear, welcome back to another NBA Playoffs on 2K Sports. This time, the only Eastern Conference left, as right now the Celtics have moved on to the, the Conference Finals. And this time, they're about to face against the winning team in between the Cleveland Cavs or the Heat. But right now, this is the next matchup. Cavaliers are back at a away game, and they're still at Miami playing against the Heat. This matchup is going to be really like a tight one here. So this next one is going to be like, what do you expect? What are you going to see? Who's going to win? What's, we'll see what happens with anything. If there's any possibility, that's going to happen right in between. Now for the last and the final commentary of the night, I will have this Terry Cruz, and he's also along with the other commentators of the crew. This time, it happens with most of the other competitions, but it doesn't happen to be one of each, with paintbrush and net call. And finally, it's David Aldridge on the sideline for tonight's game. Here in between Darius Garland, Madonna De Mitchell, and Max Struess, with Evan Mobley and Jared Allen. Hey, when I with this with Jimmy Butler, Ben Rozier the third with Tyler Hero, and Matt Adebayo in the center. Let's get you down to the Kaseya Center to get ready for the last game of the night. We'll see you all later for the Bones Game Show. The starting lineups for the visiting team of the Cavaliers. A small forward, Max Schroes. A point guard, Darius Scarlett. At center, Jared Allen. And their four position, Evan Boldly. And a shooting guard, Donovan Mitchell. The head coach for the Cleveland Cavaliers, J.B. Bickerstaff. between Darius Scarland and Terry Rozier III. It's going to be a great one tonight. Oh, yes, and I bet they are. It's going to be fantastic right now. I mean, just to say the same old, same old. But hey, it's going to be one of the biggest matchups in. Let's find out who takes it. It's game time. Let's pray it and roll it. We start things up for Cleveland Cavaliers, all fueled up and ready to go. The pass over to Strooks. Strooks right toward the right wing. Darius Scarlett right toward the cutting inbound. The two pointer dropping in, no good. Jared Allen picks it up. It's rebound by Bam Adebayo. 
first rebound of the night in game four, and as the Eagles trying to pick up another rebound to pick up here for tonight. Adebayo swings over to Rogier. Rogier gives a swing over again to High Smith again to Butler. Butler trying to roll it in for a two. Jumpers good for Jimmy Butler. That's his first bucket of the night. Appearances for Jimmy Butler. He might be what they're expecting to, but hey, this is what they are noticing now. Playing in for a great, greater amount of speed. I always say that Jimmy Butler is like a great, uh, great player that he has been going with for the Miami Heat. I mean, he's been really doing well. Just, just let him do with his honor. Better, bigger, and a favorite. Butler for two more points. That's four points in a row for the Jimmy Butler. Now that's what happens now. Jimmy Butler has been like a sanitation. He's been doing something a little bit of a, a crazy motion. That setup is just putting in there great. Jared Allen, the rebound puts in for Bam Adebayo. That's number three. And for his rebound with 6-3 to go. Here's the pass over to Heisman. Heisman gives it again to Rozier to third. Slides it back. Now gives a hero for the triple. The range is good from outside. He's got first three pointer in the nine in four. A seven is zero score. Garland on Rogier. The sliding over with the pass. Stolen by Rogier. Here comes Avayo. Avayo racing toward down the middle. Fouls Paul on Cleveland Cavaliers. That's Sharon Allen's first whistle and first team foul for Cleveland. You know, I was always saying that Bam on a bio is just really like keeping your balls in there. I know when he's trying to like, when you score that one in, the, in an open look, that pass like angles is turning to be a finished try. What they're expecting for him to get going. First of the free throw line will be Bam on a bio with, with six minutes to buy in the first quarter of the game. the first free throw. You know, I can always say that Bam on a bio has been really like just keeping the pressure in there and always got to know the figure and you know what happens for Bam on the bio. I mean, that's what you always have to believe on. And the center guards always have in fair and square, but that's what you always been mentioning with him before. Play for hard and the expectation, just do your best, get right to the work, and up to your feeling, you may have it coming down. Good free throws here for Bam on a bio. He has his first two buckets in a free throw line with under six minutes to go in the first. Now Donovan Mitchell will decide a new changeover. The pass off to Allen, and it's a kick ball calling on the heat as on high spit, and it will be staying with the cast ball alive. Now the timeout will be called by Cleveland Cavaliers with some new changes on offense. Well, they have to do some a little bit of aggressions right now. I mean, they got to choose something a little bit different here. Because if they don't do anything, I mean, it, it means you're not always just picking the right step there. Got to play at the right moment if you can get there. Now, to talk about this one here, I know the Cleveland Cavaliers in the Heat are not always aggressionary, but this one has been turning to be a little bit of like a hard matchups in between. But I think the Celtics already made their way in. They beat against the Knicks last time, and that was happened here for the... Great scores and a shutout series, 4-0 at the Garden, and they just moved on to the conference finals earlier before this game happened. How did that happen with you guys? Well, I was really expecting that Cleveland Cavaliers are really expecting that Boston Celtics are really doing really well for this season, but I have no aggressions on that because they were really playing like, how good are they? They're the best team in the Eastern Conference though, a higher range in the ranking. And they, they expecting what they don't really have to care for anybody else like that. I mean, what in the world do you always got to do? I mean, you got you got some of our ideas and you got to get over to this. I mean, play for some better respectiveness. It doesn't really happen to anybody, but that is really what you can care for. Better range of this. I'll say that the Miami Heat might be coming in there. I don't think there's a great chance of that. And a little bit done of the Mitchell for this season in the last four games. 
you know, always talk about Donovan Mitchell, and that DM has to be putting in for a great or a great year and a successful ability. Then playing it for every ever game here for DM on a on the DM for for the Mitchell on a showdown take. Everybody's gonna have to take over that. I'm sure he's going. After a bucket made for Cleveland Cavaliers, here's Terry Rozier. Pass over to Butler. Butler trying to sweep it out again to Anabayo. Anabayo fouls tipped. It's recovered by Anabayo. Butler for that side. Rozier for three. Triple range, no good. Allen with the rebound out back to Darius Garland. Garland on his way down, trying to work his way in. A step inbound, blocked by Terry Rozier. The second bucket, no good. Mm, I think Terry Rozier must have got the, a piece of it knocking out of his hand. The first attempt, that was a great block. But the second attempt, he missed that one. That rolls it in and out. I mean, that's not even good at all. And the foul is going to be picked up on Butler. That will be a legal screening for the offensive foul. And uh, we'll change it over to Cleveland Ball. And a look at the status here for Jimmy Butler. He's currently even behind by Max Struess. He's in third place. And Max Struess, fourth place. Nothing happens to be saying here for Jimmy Butler that was really what he occasionally had to be ultimately on the stopping bound. Got to play it the right way. Jared Allen with a great walk of the alley -oop. And Donovan Mitchell. I expected that this one doesn't really give up. Here's Tyler Hero with the ball. He finds a pass over to Rozier. Rozier gets it over. Now swings to Butler. Butler beating over Struce. What a cut! Butler with six points in this game. It's now 11 4 game. You know that cut of bound that happens? You see that drive happening? That's what Jimmy Butler's been doing, and keeping it eight silly. I would not even say this. It, it's just what you don't really see. Often time, often. I like it when he makes a drive. The foul calls on Miami Heat. That's on Bam on the bio who gets first personal. And first team foul for Miami. Donovan Mitchell on the free throw line shooting too. Well, you can see what the contact is. That happened to be a hard like a hit, and this one he went down already. That means it's not going to turn great. Donovan Mitchell must have had a, a, a conscious. He is just putting a contact up here. Something in common, uh, but he's really like shooting really well for sure. I mean, just believe it. You got to give him a credit for that. Free throw coming up for Donovan Mitchell with 406 to go. First free throw makes it in for Donovan Mitchell. Listen, everybody, it's the White Heat playoffs. I always expected you all to have to wear white out there, but this doesn't mean like you wear something red or, or something else like that. But this is white playoffs. Play something better out there. <laughs> if there were is right now, I would see the fans wearing white because it's a White Heat playoff edition. They must have got that one coming in there if they do. And it makes a free throw. Just playing in there. I mean, Donovan Mitchell's already like boom, great. <laughs> Just go for your best. Rozier with the ball. Now he finds it over to get a hero. Under four minutes to go, and he now has it over to Jimmy Butler. Butler trying to make a new surveying defense on the floor. He gives to Rozier. Rozier with the cut. A two-pointer misses the target. Jared Allen gives it again to Garrett Darius Garland. And here's Mitchell. Mitchell, oh! That slammed down! I don't know what happened. That looks like that Mitchell. Did I just blink? Or did I just did not see it? Like, what is this happening? I don't know Donovan Mitchell did it. <laughs> That's what I always say, Donovan Mitchell. He just made that one. One pow jam. That's untake breakable. What a great replay here for Donovan Mitchell's hard drive presented by AT&T, the 5G Slam Game. Who's here? Sorry, it's Butler. Five to shoot. Butler on a drive around Strews. What a cut! He has eight points here. Three twelve to go in the first quarter. He signed up with the Cavaliers and the rest of his team. Jared Allen watching on them on a mile. There he is, Garland. Passes again to Mitchell. He were on it. Allen with the screen, a cut and drive, good. That is Donovan Mitchell with another two point bucket score. Now it's there's a Miami call and they are calling timeout. We have under three minutes to go. And expected right now, as is always that happened, because the bill 
Watson, he is definitely our, our passed away already, and this is what the uh, the better waves I hope have come in for the legendary that have played with us here since the end of his night, and it's now has been resting in peace, all of his love, and with forgiveness, we can trust. Hey, always rest in peace there, Bill Watson. I always really know. And that already happened here. Thanks for the screen. I always really appreciate to everyone who is really uh, compromising it, and thanks for everybody for support. I always gotta say, Bill Watson, he has been like, a, he's a legendary. Playing here for Portland Trail Blazers and then, and next what happened, go all the way to the finals, and then he became the most valuable player. MVP for sure, and I always say, all time champions, I mean, he has been like, a great. Great player inbound, I always appreciate him. Before the Clippers and then the Boston Celtics, and after that, being retired in 1989. Well, 1989, of course. Then he's now with the being a commentator, but always got a little bit of respect. Hey, we appreciate you to Bill Watson. Everybody that misses you, I'm going to miss you every, every day. And you always elect you. Oh, thanks for the message out there. We really appreciate that, Dave Paul. <laughs> Thank you so much. Curtis Sask here as you look at him on the bio. Last 10 games was really turning me great. I was really saying that that was an excellent or unstoppable inbound for Bam on the bio. He has been playing here for every postseason of the game. And sometimes, however, that really has to be a, a lot of dramatical run of a moment. For Bam on the bio, it's better to be in best center guard position. Here's Duncan Robinson trying to cut him down. The pass to Bam on the bio for the shot. Over. Yeah, and good. Uh, Bio's got a second bucket. Under 2 3 left to go in the Burks. It's a 15 10 game. Tries to watch out for the screen. Morrell with the ball. And the Yang on the outside makes the three. This one cuts back down by two. They got to blink. Keep it in there. They got nowhere else to go, but they got to do this on their own. Back to Duncan Robinson. The bounce pass finds again on a bio. Over again in the A, and they take to their one. That's six points in this game. They're just going everywhere for Bam on a bio in that crash and drive. I was really noticing. I'm curious of what's going on with him. The lockdown defense? I'm going to have to look at it carefully. And Morrell will get his first bucket. That's his first point of the night in game four. Now, here's the number take for Jimmy Butler. Wright gives again to Robinson. The pass again to Adebayo. Looks it over. Gives to Wright. Pass it over to Hawkins. Coming in for the screen, he wants to help Jovic out. And the cut to Jovic up with the shot. Great pass by, by Hawkins Jr. That'll be his first bucket of the night. Just play it in there. I mean, just what you gotta do. I mean, just keep playing it the right way. Don't let it tip it over on you. The bucket, no good for Karis LeBert. Adebayo with another rebounding percentage. He gives it again to the long right. Right finds a pass. Fades a shot. Looks at Adebayo. Slide it back. Gives it to the long right. Find another new changeover to Akis Jr. With the 30 second mark, first bucket for Hawkins Jr. It doesn't go in. And Morrell finding Karis LeVert. LeVert trying to stick it in there. On the drive, the bad attacker no good. Elon Wright has the ball back. Rolling it down to 10 seconds left to remain in the first. The takeover now finds Robinson. Find the shoot. The takeover, Hawkins for three, and it misses. That ends the first quarter. It's a 19-15 game. They're up by four. We'll get a quick break, and we'll get right back to the second quarter after events of the NBA playoffs. For those of you tuning in, we welcome you back, and we're ready to start the second quarter. Heat up ahead by four. How's your take there, guys, for the Heat and the Cavaliers? Well, I was always expecting now and now. I mean, they're doing really well. I mean, both guys did an even job already, but they don't really have enough time to have that moment in there. But they always expected what they could definitely do. I mean, if they play it right, I mean, got to play for the second quarter. Well, hopefully there is. Might be another room for improvement. 
We start the second quarter. Cleveland Cavaliers has Thierry Scarl and with Donovan Mitchell. Evan Mobley with Max Struess and Jared Allen right toward the center. Duncan Robinson is with Terry Rozier to third. And it's Anafayo. There's, there's Jovic with Kelly Martin. And Butler right toward the small pool. He takes another bucket drive. Oh, it's safe for Jimmy Butler for sure. I mean, he's going crazy. Donovan Mitchell finds Strooks. Strooks, four to two. Misses the target. Off of the shot. Nice feed by Terry Rozier as Jovic has that rebound. And he now will have it over to Rozier. Rozier gives again to Butler. Butler trying to make a new switch over in. Do with the shot. The step back for the two. Oh, what do you know? Jimmy Butler's got 12 points. He's skating away right now. I mean, hot hands. Great start. I never see what Jimmy Butler is doing, but that is what I always expected to, to play it for the best way. <laughs> Jimmy from Black Bama. Reporter for David Aldridge, as we have talked with Eric Spolstra, he was his head coach for the Miami Heat, has really been showing it about his, his concentration is in there. He asked the Peter and as he is making his appearances and all that goal he has made. He talked to one of his uh, talked to his teams and this is what we are doing there, folks. We can't let them live, live like that. And we are really are hustling about. But when you're playing defense, try to think of a smarter way to get their spur. But the team's always understood, so an Asian doesn't really happen because it really takes it in. And he's coming in to try to get all of his attention on the right way. Yeah, I always know that Eric Spolstra, that head coach here from the Miami Heat, he might have a lot of them. Bring that one down here, and this is not what I always expected to say, that when coming in for head coach, that happens to be one of the takes, just don't have a choice. The pass over to Kelly Martin for three. That's off the rim, it rolls in now. Garland finds again the Max Strews. Max Strews, Garland for three. And they're cut down by three, is no good. Rozier adding another rebound, that's number two. Rozier finds again the Duncan Robinson. He really wants to have a threes, but he wants to have some more open rooms if he gets there. Rozier helping the screen is Butler. Open look, Butler for three. Misses a target from outside, and this goes back to Darius Garland. Overtaken. Here's Rachel, and a drive will put it in. They're back down by three. Five minutes to spare in the first half of the game. Now Rogier will have a chance to do it again to Donovan Mitchell. Going on Mitchell on Duncan Robinson. Rogier finds again to Butler. Strews on it now. Watching the cut, Rozier for three! Kaboom! From outside, makes it in, it's now a 28-22 game. Rozier's got his first three-pointer of the night. Quite excellent assist here for Jimmy Butler. I mean, everyone's playing it, but you have to play it on your own. I mean, if the defender's on you, get a screen, if he's wide open, just give it back to him. Point guards are always doing better. There he is, Garland, looking for cut. Misses the two. Gally Martin with his first rebound. Under five minutes left to for a spare in the first half. Now he gives it over to Jovic. He wants to give it back to Rogier. Looking for some motion drive. Looks at it again. Jimmy Butler on a on attacking set. On a two-pointer and good D by Max Schroes. Here's Rogier. And as now Darius Garland has the ball in, in his hand on Rogier on it. Mobley on Jimmy Butler. Lost strong defense and a lockdown. Here's a cut and bound. And excellent D by Jimmy Butler. That's his first rebound. Gives it again to Jovic. And finally, Kyle Martin in the corner for free. Got to the go for in the range. And it's now three point. 31 22 to score. You don't really feel like Kelly Martin's doing the thing. The cut and bound. And this one's missed. Ali Martin back the airway, he gives it over, now finding the pass to Jovic. Back to Terry Rozier in the corner. Goes right back again to Butler. Ali Martin going in for the screen. Gives the pass over, finding Ali Martin, what a drive! And it's Butler with the assist. Timeout call by Cleveland Cavaliers as they are down by 10. 
We're Cleveland and Alita have an ad for Miami with three on three to go. Well, you could say now that Jimmy Butler and Kelly Martin, he was really picking it up. Great pace off. That's what happens now. We're nearing down the end of the first half as we're getting ready to have a halftime show. That will be coming up after the first half of the game. Comes in for the end of the second quarter. We got Ernie Johnson, Kenny the Jet Smith, and Chad O'Neill ready to have our first look at the Paris is about to happen. With Cleveland Cavaliers, are they in trouble now? Or right, and the key, the seventh seed, can, can they be unstoppable? They are will be putting in an underdog if they can put an upset here. If there is a choice in, in between. You know, I love upsets. I mean, this all happens right now. I mean, play it in here. We see the Mavericks. They beat against the Denver Nuggets, the number one seeded team. Man, we spy it out. Looks like the other team is going to be taking it in there. But I'm hoping, I'm hoping that there might be an upset here. And this could be another disappointment in the effort. But hey, let's find out what it is now. I mean, it could be another choice in there. You may never know. So new changes for the Miami Heat and the Cavaliers. Isaac, of course, check back in. Look at a new change up here for a small forward of stealing games since All-Star. It's a tall, even game by Paul George. He's in second. Well, you just have to believe in yourself right now. I mean, when you have to do for your own, try to think up ahead of it right now with the steal of the games. Drew Butler's got to have it. another talk over if he gets a save through and get it done right away. The three from a rep. And this one is off the rip. Anamaya with his free fifth rebound gives to Josh Richardson. Trying to pull it in the attack. Looks it over. Finding Anabaya. Anabaya on the cut. In the racing inbound. Oh, what a step! What an excellent drive for Anabaya! He's got eight points in this game. Oh, that's what I was always seeing that Adebayo made a great step in bound. How do you like that? Joshi Yang with his first three-pointer. Three. Oh, and there is a little bit of a swip up turnover. He didn't go on the court that well. That's a big problem now. I mean, just changing it over doesn't mean anything. Just 2.16 left to go in the first half of the game. Now a 35-25 game. You know, looking like that the Cavaliers really wanted to get back into this and tie the series up. Morrell from the outside. Watching Hawkes Jr. Looks to Okoro. Okoro trying to watch the man defender on you. Morrell for free. Misses the target. Jimmy Butler ranking his way down at his approachment to Hawkes Jr. On a drive, what a take! Jamie Hawkes Jr. with his first bucket of the game. And Jimmy Butler with the assist. Hey, great communication out there for Jimmy Butler. How do you like that? And he's on pole. Here comes Hawkes. With a drive, it goes in. Hawkes with four points as a steal puts up by Tyler Nero. Sam Morrell finds Silver and a core over three. He will get it to go. This time it's now a 39-28 game. And it's Harris LeVert back in right now, but he's still cold on the outside. Hey, don't get the streak uncomfortable if you get right into it. If you're cold, you know you're cold. Here from outside with a minute to go in the first half. Jimmy Butler looking up at his step, and he takes another one in. Butler with 16 points on an 80% field goal this range. He's on, he's on a good start here. Yeah, always the first half when you know from Jimmy Butler. I mean, all I have to be like a legendary to be a prove on. I mean, I always know that. It happens with that point. Giving it a go. Great look. Three second defensive call on Hawkins Jr. As this will be a technical free throw coming up for the Cavaliers. Georgie Yang. At the free throw line, shooting one with 46 seconds left in the first half. Well, don't be out there that long. I mean, if you're in the paint, you've got to get out there. He hits a free throw. This will now be 41-29. Now it's Kaywood Highsmith checking in 
court, Jimmy Butler. Garrett LeBert finding Morrell for three. Anyone chopping in? This time it's a 41-32 game. 40 seconds left to go in the first half. Trying to look like they wanted to have an answer back on the range, but they don't have any choice to go in there. Hero finds again to Hawkins Jr. Hawkins Jr. trying to give again to three row. The bounce pass to Bam Adebayo for two. And that goes in there. Great shot for Bam Adebayo. He has 10 points. Cavaliers trailing behind. It looks like they want something else. And a Levert drive. No good. Bam Adebayo will get some rest here. And the Heat fans will be heading into the locker room. You have a break and go back on the court for the second half. Good idea. We always got to take some breaks in there. That's all you can definitely do. Great job. Third first half. But let's hope the second half comes in. We go down right toward the court side. We have a David Aldridge standing by. Hey, Dave. Thanks very much. With J.B. Bickerstaff, Coach, what will be the areas of emphasis on defense in the second half? But we got to do a much better job just being physical, fighting them deep down in the post. We got to be very aggressive early, not let them get deep post catches, make them have to kick the basketball out, not take those easy buckets. That is doing your work early, and we'll see if you can do it in the second half. Thanks, Coach. Back to you. All right, David, thank you so much. And the first half, get ready for the second half after the break. The 2K Sports Halftime Show. Hello again, everybody. Boy, what a crowd joining us here for our halftime report. I'm Ernie Johnson alongside Kenny the Jet Smith and the Diesel Shaquille O'Neal. What a start for Jimmy Butler. He had 16 points, 3 assists, and 2 rebounds. Let's hear from you, Shaq, on the Heat first half. They've really established themselves to the glass. Me and Dabba there has been extra possessions, which they've cashed in on. I would just got to, you know, bring the same energy to the second half. Kenny, let's get your insight on Cleveland. Well, they have to prove that Dabba was burned on the direction. They wouldn't put a hand up, and my man used to say, hand down, hand down. Oh, you gotta get it to him. That pretty much covers everything. Yeah. Like, you think they played their best? No way, no way. And that's gonna do it for our halftime show, sadly. Third quarter about to start. See you again after the final. Bye. Oh, buddy. You've been watching the 2K Sports Halftime Show. We welcome you back at the Kaseya Center for the third quarter to start. On a great starting effort for Jimmy Butler. As of right now, he has been like all on the heat pressurizing and he has been like a fire heat start on a quarter. Well, you always can tell that the best thing about Jimmy Butler is he's really like unbelievable. He has a smokeout starting in the first quarter and in the second quarter, and hey, who doesn't know about anything? My play for once or go twice. I can say that he's gonna be a hot fire in it. Let's hope if we can figure out the second half. With the story of the group, Oshiers with Tyler Hero. High Smith is with Jimmy Butler, and Alabaya is in the center guard. Here's Butler finally again to Hero. Looks again to Jimmy Butler. Jimmy Butler for the two, and he is not going anywhere. He is making another two point buckets in. That's 18 in a row. Just playing in there doesn't mean that he's getting there. A better start of the angle. It has to be what they do and get that thing straight away. Foul's call here on the on the heat. We got a reporter for David Aldridge this time. As the all calling for Jimmy Butler, the high performances of how this happened with this game. All that needs to be shown is, is with the lack of his, of his truth and his inspiration. The better one is, keeping it in here, is it's not always easy when you take in there. But that's for Donovan Mitchell. Jimmy Butler is he has been really keeping an eye on him. He's a legendary. Give it a pro and give it go. The screen puts in for Tyler Hero. Great screen protection off to Hero and what a shot! Butler with another six. That's Another 10. Hero's got five. Just playing in what happened now. Jimmy Butler giving it over to Tyler Hero that quickly. That must have what they have just expected it to play it like that. 
Hearts. The foul's called on Miami Heat. That's on Bam on the bio. It's second. Max Struess is at the free throw line shooting too. You're adding another free throw in there for the team as Max Struess is trying to get right into this. He hits the first free throw. You know, you always say when that happened to be Max Struess, he, he's really what they are expecting him right now. I mean, with the player of this one, that were quarter of a year, I mean, this has happened to be the early life event. How many of with this game? And he played at DePaul in 2017 and into in 2019. What really happened to like this pin? First, he played here for the Chicago Bulls. And then, with the Windy City of the Bulls, this kid me another changeover. The last time play basically meets Jimmy Butler here in, in a regular season here for Miami Heat against the, against the Cavaliers. But then his contract changed because he's now with Donovan Mitchell and Darius Garland. He really has some, a lot of the hard to spare the time that front. It doesn't happen what they are expecting to let him have it. Which is what you always can't do with Max Struess. I mean, he's really like all into a better opportunity. Make that rage count. Get it done. They'll get it back. Mitchell finds Garland and Struess goes for three. Yes, he does. That's another three-pointer for the Cleveland Cavaliers. And Garland with the assist. They're back down by 10, trying to keep that away. Ogier finds a pass over it again to Anabaya. Gives it to Butler. Fade the shot. Gives to Anabaya. What a jam! What a take, and it slams it over as Jimmy Butler gets to Adebayo to go for a dunk. Now that slam, I was never seeing that that was going to be alive out there. That is a great taking. Pressure is, no one takes it. There he is, Starland got Donovan Mitchell, a number three pointer. And it's a never take, 51-42. They're just shooting everywhere out there. I mean, no patience on that. I mean, they're always noticing. And you, you got to have a lot more or time effort. I mean, they're playing like how hard they done. A lot. Playing in there. I mean, I wouldn't say that if that happens. It's stolen by Buck Mobley. And here comes the fast break. They're going to find an our way to get in there to her. Allen up he goes. That's another dunk. Well, there's two. One for Mitchell and one for Jared Allen. Both guys from the Cavaliers got to receive the dunks by slam cam. And an excellent takeover. It's now up two points. And to get right into the work here, presented by AT&T, the 5G Slam Cam. Tyler Hero gives it over now to Anabaya. Anabaya. Hero looks again to, to Rogier. Rogier trying to cut it in with a two on the layup. Great D by Jared Allen. Picking up another rebound, now finds it again to Mitchell. Now he up and he makes it in. Mobley trying to show the crowd. Forcing into game five to have a tied series up. Rogier now finds Hero. Hero gives the pass over now again to Rogier. The passing over now to Anabayo. Anabayo on a cut and down, a shot, and he makes the shot, he counts it. Zero Allen with the foul. And a foul and one. Just what you always know for Sharon Allen. He got a little bit of a problem out there with the defense, but out of my own, count that in. Now for one shot, as one of the couple players are making new changes as Khalid Martin is checked in. And the other side of it is the long right. That's good for out of my own. 54-46, trying to catch him in. Making some time in there and moving around. Mitchell for three. That's good. Another three-pointer adds in for the Cavaliers. 54-49 is the score. You're getting close right now. And the pass over down the bio. Another take. What a shot. No one can stop him now for them on the bio. I was never seeing what they were just letting him do. Timeout called by Cleveland Cavaliers with four minutes to go in the third. Got to talk it over there, team. Okay, man. 
The NBA Playoffs on 2K Sports is brought to you by Sour Patch Kids. Sour, sweet, gone. Your local Kia dealers. Movement that inspires. And by AT&T. Connecting changes everything. With some upcoming games we have and are in between of the NHL and NBA. NHL is going to be happening with the Maple Leafs facing against the Bruins. And game five, this first game will be happening here at 7.30 p.m. First game that's going to happen here. And then the second game, we've got the Canucks and they're facing against the Golden Knights back at Rogers Arena. That will be another location on the other side of it. As you got a great ones in between happening here at, at 10 o'clock p.m. It's a little bit change over here, but don't worry, you'll get that one straight. And finally, in the, in the middle of the game, the Stars facing against the Jets back at American Airlines Center. This will be happening here right at 8.30 p.m. Now is the new substitution on the court. As Matt Schuess is checked out, and checking back in is Wade. Devin Wade looking in. Rogier the third is checked out. And now DeLon Wright will be checked in. A great status here for the... Miami Heat, as they were really up and struggling here with a lockdown in. And coming in the behind, just playing it right. Just plain simple. I mean, they always got to play, make a great way to have that connection in there. I mean, I'm totally seeing this because they were not even expecting that plays already. I mean, they were really are noticing. How about that? Look with that. what I really have to call for. It. You've been like keeping it in there for a greater chance than the speed is. It's just all you have to do. Whenever you say, whatever you want to do, I mean, that's what the key are been doing it really well. Scoring on the breakdown of the fast points over their business team. They really love that one too. He hits a free throw. With a tactical free throw after a three second violation call was the long right. Now of course check in for Evan Mobley with under four minutes in the third. Here's Garland, ready outside. The long right, trying to watch out for the paint. Mitchell for three. Now number take here. This one is out of number two. And it's Garland with the assist. They're down by four. Cutting the lead over is not always what you want to do. You got to stay out for your life. Just keep going. Don't play it out there if you leave it. Here's right. Now finding it over again to Cali Martin. Here's the take. The drive puts it in. Great team by Dave and Wayne. As this will be first rebound. And this will be another take for Jared Allen. On number three. Oh, yes, he does this again as they are rolling back down by one. Darius Garland trying to have an answer back is right at trying to add a number two pointers. Here's Martin. Martin in the paint. Looking again to right. The bounce pass finds again a mark hit. And Jimmy Butler's pass is stolen by Okoro. And Okoro, here they come. Butler on it. Here's Jared Allen. Allen trying to roll it in. Okoro for a lead. Misses the three pointer. Martin finds again to Jimmy Butler. Here's the take. Makes a slam. A two point jammer. And it's now back to three. Just when no one wants. I mean, if you've got them in there, don't mess them up. That has to be out there. I never take. Devin Wade in the middle. The setback. And it's taken in. No deflection off again by Kelly Martin. As it's now 58 57. We are under two minutes remaining in the third as Kelly Barnes trying to bring her team up again. To close out the gap, he now finds it over. Gives again to Jimmy Butler. Over again to Kelly Barnes. Looks it over to right. Right. The pass to Kelly Barnes. Here's a drive for two, four, and one! Oh, wow! Kelly Barnes! He done it again! That's what no 
going, guys. You can't just mess that up. Caleb Martin on the bigger drive. With the first personal foul, a new change up for the Cavaliers. Three players are off the court. Levert, Niang, and Morris Sr. are checked in. And for the Heat, four players are checked out as four players are checked in. Hawkins Jr., Robinson, and Richardson are checked in as Kelly Barton moves to center. He will take the free throw in. They are up by four. Just to say, Caleb Martin, he just made that one lucky. A lucky mate. That shot, I never seen anyone does that. Isaac Coro, no foul called on Miami Heat. Passing a 90 second mark between the shot clock and game clock. A little bit of a time seconds here it says Richardson's in the corner. Looks to pass over. Great ball movement for Miami Heat. Six to shoot. The three for Richardson. And he went air ball and it went out of bounds. That turns it over to the Cavaliers ball. When you don't take the three pointer, you're not going to make it in there. If a shorter bound is on a low app overall overall average, don't take the three pointers instead. I mean, just go with someone else who can take it. Ball slips. Garland's got it back. Under a minute to go, and a third. Watching corner, anti-traffic. Gets again, Garland for three. And it's another miss by Cleveland Cavaliers. Akes Jr. gets it again to right. In the cut, Victor Akes. Makes it in. Great drive for Akes Jr. He's got six points. When that happens to Hawkins Jr., I mean, the rookie players always do it right. The three-pointer misses again. Now that Martin tries to get a Hawkins Jr. A take in the drive. What a make. He has eight points in the game. And it's now a 65-57 game. You're just expecting that Hawkins Jr. might have been popping it in there. Just making their pointer. LeVert. Nobody around. And he'll have the dunk in to just slap, silence the crowd to end the third quarter. And here's the tape. Near, near and a half of our alarm to the logo. And this is off the mark and it ends the third quarter. It's a 65-57 game. 59 game, excuse me, but the correction. But this is going to be a tight one in there. The next one that scores will be forcing it in. Get ready for game five. Oh, might be what they are looking at. I'm thinking the heat. Let's see what it takes. Cavaliers. All right, let's get back into this. Fourth quarter's next, after this. While we have a moment, let's reveal the state promises of the game. You know, I'm really glad right now. I mean, always gonna play for a, real, a great moment to take. You have a bit, a bit of time and you got a little bit of an out, outer pace out there. I mean, that's what you give it over. A great play about him for the last quarter? He's been really doing well. It's the fourth quarter. Hope you're having fun with us and we're ready to get right into work. Let's find out who can take the win. On a start for the Cavaliers and for the Heat. As the Donovan Mitchell is with Karis LeBurk. Jared Allen right toward the center. Mobley is with Max Schroes. And for the Heat, we have his Bam on a bike. And across some gear is Tyler Muir. Eli Wright, right toward the right wing. And this will be another take for Terry Rozier and Akis Jr. with Haywood Highsmith. It's again to Muir. And Rozier on a cut. The two, nice speed up for Tyler Hero. He has five points in his game. You know what happened now? When you can get the playoff uh, good credit, you get that one in there. That has to be a right wing. You gotta get that one in there, give that one a go. Nice try for Max Struess. That's another two pointer, makes it in. It's now a 67 61 game. Gives it again to Hawkins Jr. Hawkins gives it over now. The pass back to Hero. The pass over now finds Rogier again to Anabaya. Looks again. Here's a take, and it's stolen by Levert. Lover, here he comes. Three pointer for Donovan Mitchell. It's good. Another take in. And they're rolling back down by three. 
Well, let's be careful now. I mean, looks like that's stolen. It's just putting in for the Cavaliers. They're just trying to answer in there. No one really wants that. Ice Smith gives it again to Hero. Over Levert. In and out. Struess with the ball. Now back to Donovan Mitchell. Gives the pass to Levert, and he makes a one-hand dunk down. Rolling back down by one. It's a 67-66 game. Oh, close up in the range. Everybody hold tight. Don't jump out of your seats already because something might happen. The pass over to Rozier. Gives it again to Tyler Hero. Passes now. Rozier again to Heisman. Sliding across gives Rozier. Gives it over. Hero for a jumper for the 33. And it's missed. Mobley trying to save the day. Back to Mitchell, get the shoots. And back pass it again to Mitchell. The pass again to Allen. Watching him closely. Finding Mola Mitchell and Mobley will have a dunk. And now up in a lead. First lead for tonight in game four. Oh, nobody had really seen that coming right now. I think Donovan Mitchell was really picking up the pressure in there. And then nobody's seen that very close nearby. But that needs to be important. Pass back to Hero. Hero trying to take his own moment on the cutting drive for the two. It's good. Tyler Hero with seven points. Down to five minutes remaining in the fourth. Donovan Mitchell trying to give over to LeVert. LeVert trying to step in. Solid D by Terry Rogier. Now it's back the air away as Bam Adebayo has it again to Rogier. Ready to bring it back to the attacker again to Adebayo. Adebayo trying to roll it in with a shot and he's fouled. That will be Cleveland foul as Karis LeVert with his first personal foul and another team foul will go on Cleveland. If under five minutes to go. down the first free throw. Down for a couple substitutions, ready to get back on the court. Morrell checked in for Karis LeVert. Mitchell moves over to shooting guard. And Jimmy Butler comes in for another side as Hawkins Jr. is checked out back to a starting five group. And he hits the second free throw. I always really love Bam on the bio. He's always on a work flow. I mean, ain't it out the price of it? I mean, I say that Bam on the bio is really like almost the same side height. And for the people, we really are picking up a great look in between of Jared Allen and Bam on the bio. For the hero with the foul on the reach with 431 to go. Morrell gives it over to Mobley. Mobley on for the two. A three to put a tie. Yes, he does. He has it out. And it's now a tie game. 71. 71. Timeout called by Miami Heat with 423 to go in the fourth quarter. Hey, we're all here that night. Why don't we just really take all that time ever and don't let that one get right into this? It calls for the Butler watch. And also Jimmy Butler for sure. I think he's going to definitely take it over. Don't forget, if you have some tickets here, and you, if you already made it, the fact all tickets are sold out. If you're ready for a show, it's going to be happening here for Season 2 for the Anime and Seminary. If you're in Miami, hop on down to Fort Lauderdale, as you will be seeing this part of the great shows in between of the new episode of Episode 15 of the Anime and Sandy, and the new episode of the VFDI TPOT Episode 11. I'll be all of them here, only on these channels of Jack and Jellyfy and on Animation Epic. Once the trip is complete, this will be uploaded and be ready for you all to watch anytime right on YouTube. So you can watch that one with anything on the go, or you can check out Chris's reaction of the Animation Sandy Invitational, the best season of the year. 
And yeah, hopefully, hopefully this might be what they are expecting now. I mean, playing it for a wheel game, games, they not always happening what they want. Now back to a five in group of the substitution on the line as this will be all the players coming in. It's quarter for David Aldrich as he's talking to J.P. Biggerstaff. They really are pressuring things up. He did talk to one of his uh, teams and he's really had done it earlier. I played it for one of these regional of the game. This is what I've got to say for you folks. Don't try to keep out. Play it in. Do yourself a favor. And don't let anyone get anyone's, anybody else in the way. Play hard and get right to it. Jimmy Butler with another two-pointer. That's 22. Rise again to Struess. Struess knocks it up. The screen put up for Mobley. Mitchell for the lead. That misses again. On a bio number take in. He now has it again to Highsmith. Pulls it in. Here's an Abaya with a shot. And a great team by Jared Allen. Morel trying to work his way across again to Mitchell. Watching out for the ankle breaking for the tying game. And he's fouled. And Rozier's left has the second personal. That's another team foul for Miami. Uh oh. This is not always that good. And I would never like that. That one played in the foul? Not at all. You know, it doesn't happen with Donovan Mitchell. When that one cuts it in there, you really have a hard time. You try to spare that one working in. You don't get enough impression. You just don't play it right. I mean, you just got to keep working on it. And don't get anybody else in the way if you have it coming down in. Mitchell gets the first free throw. DM now bringing back Darius Garland as now Sam Morales check back and he's on the bench. This will be end for it and now they'll bring our all starting five groups nearing down the three minute mark. And he hits the second free throw. Really close game right now. Donovan Mitchell is like already been showing it and he's playing it. Whatever it is. For Louisville, I mean, that's what he does. Butler now swings it again to Heisman. Heisman trying to cut his way across now finds Jimmy Butler. Butler on a blocking range. Makes it in. Jimmy Butler with 24 points. Now back ahead by two. Let's listen to the fans now at the Casey Center. They're rolling loud. Aaron Allen and another foul. Oh no, this is not going to be good at all. They here just disappointing effort. Jared Allen at the free throw line shooting too. Well, you could say that cutting one is not turning to be easy enough. If he's grabbing that ball, that means that was a foul late. That one is not turning what they are really liking at call. They just hated it. No one wants that opinion. Jared Allen decided to go for a tie this game, a 75-75 game, if he makes two free throws in. First free throw makes it in. You have to say that Jared Allen is really like the tallest guy in the center. I really have no patience on him, but playing it for, like, when you do it for real, Jared Allen is just picking in there. He's like, wants to get this rejection in there. That harder pick, no one has an opinion to do this. And he hits the second free throw. Here's Rochier to third. Under three minutes to go. Fans so in support here wants to give a good, good credit and give him a loud noise for his thunderous applause. Give again to the Butler. Butler gives it again to Adebayo. Against on Jared Allen. The pass. Hero for three. It's off the rim. Mobley trying to answer that one back. There he is. Garland trying to pick it up. Truce for the lead. It's good. On the outside. But today it's now up by three. Adebayo now finds it over to Gander Rozier. The takeover now finding Adebayo. For the takeover. Yeah, he will not get it back this time. And this one gives it again to Darius Garland. Over to Gary Mitchell for three. And another three. What a 
takeover. Mitchell trying to show the crowd a structure down at Kaseya Center. Timeout call by Miami Heat. We're just going down two minutes to go in the fourth quarter regulation. Oh man, I have to say there is a battle range out there as the Cleveland Cavaliers are really expecting it to play back to back in the range. I can feel it. And you know for sure what's you're fighting back for a victory. Not as easy to know as that choice. <laughs> Good accent, I would have that in there. Not at all, boss. And we have some time moment to reset your new balance player in the game. All but a player. And this game goes out to Donovan Mitchell. Well, you have to believe it here for Donovan Mitchell. There has to be like, one way to have it in. I love the communication and all that strong effort there are just putting in a lot of range to that point. All uh, happens now for Donovan Mitchell, a new balance player in the game. He's really like been showing it how he does. I can always say it. Better and Rochita will have it with two minutes remaining in the fourth. Rochita had no other patience to get through this. Find Siler here over on the outside with just 15. Oshir for the three! Now, oh, yes, he buries the triple from outside. He has eight points in this game. Maybe 10 more three pointers in the heat for the Cavaliers. And here's another take out of you. And he does it! Oh boy, they are really are stepping up in the range out there, trying to pull back in game four. Now, when you don't really don't do, I mean, you're never going to like that after all. Jimmy Butler trying to walk this in. The pass over now finds Iceman. The takeover. On the bio in toward the center. Here's a three for Butler. It's good. Outside makes it in. He has 27 points. You're down by two. Gary down the final minute in the fourth. They're trying to have an answer. Kick it back and go. And the foul is called on Mobley. That will be turned chance to tie it or take the lead. There's a bad call. Ever happened now? You don't take it in there? That's going to change it over to your life. Boucher with one minute left to remain in the fourth. Now the fans are ready to put their on the feet in the show. Here we go. Give it a pass again to Highsmith. That takeover. And Boucher. Zero to tie it in. with 45 seconds. Hey, listen to this. Hero, bring it in. We are really saving your day. That's what you do. Tyler Hero, make the best one in. We'd like to remind you that the next part of the game, if you're ready to see your next matchup, we've got NBA and NHL on 2K25. It will be on its way right down towards the next month of the year. This will be happening with a great matchups in between. If it's your take, you can take whatever you want, except the same teams that played here. Just like last time, give for the NHL 23 if you've already seen it, but this might be what you are expecting for, and find out what goes in. This will be every team, happened on July 17th and the 18th, on each day. Don't miss this one out, and this will be the open polls, company here on the media, and it will be back the other way to get right from here. That will be only on Sun and Beast for a new season of appearance. And the WNBA is stepping in. That will be happening here in August, so keep your eyes peeled on that. Fans are on the feet now. The White Heat playoff is ready to take things on. Just out of 45 seconds. Mitchell for three. It's good. Puts it back out. And the lead now, 85. This is not a three-pointer, as this one keeps it in for two. Well, they're really just pressuring in now. they got to do something quick. Here's the takeover for Jimmy Butler. It's stolen by Strauss. Now 
Chance Silver to stop the run and drop. 21 seconds ranging in. Mitchell trying to slow it down, down this eighth on a shot clock. A chance in front for the three. Miss it. And you'll have to take a timeout for Jimmy Butler with 6.7 seconds. A chance to tie or take the lead. Oh, boy. I don't know what they're expecting now, but they are really are pushing their way in there. That's what White Beat pay playoff is. I mean, everybody's standing in there, and we are really expecting them to see what goes in. Now for the chance to take if there's a win, what do you think it's going to be? I think the Heat. I am pressuring on for the Heat. I think Jimmy Butler's going to take all of them in. Show them what you got. I am pretty sure. I don't know about you. But I am going to go with the Cavaliers. I think they're going to have to tie this game up because last time they tied this series, that was in game two. Really frustrating now. I mean... You don't have to appear in time. You don't have a judge on that point. You don't get this anything. You have no idea what's going to happen. Well, I guess you're going to make the experience right now. Let's see if you can take over. You can. Now, with the chance right now, this will be all two games ever. In game five, that will be on its way here as we will have to be the Thunders and the Wolves. And back at Target Center, that will be another takeover in between. And we'll have another chance in mobility. And this one will be game five also for the Cleveland Cavs and the Heat. That will be also here and with only two games, only on center beats. Now, here we go. This is it. Last one or be denied. And here we go, down to three. A chance in for the win. And it misses. Oh boy. That was just it. What a disappointing effort. The Cavaliers tied this game. And Miami, 85 to 83. Wow, that's a big disappointment. Cavaliers are back in the work. No question asked, don't take that for it. Well, I know you don't have to care about that, but that's what you don't take. It happens to be everybody. Thanks for joining us here, and we'll hope I'll see you all again for the next game on its way for NHL and NBA. This is Terry Crews along with Paintbrush and Nickel. We hope to see you again real soon. Take care, everybody. Have a wonderful night in Miami. All right, thank you so much, guys. I was really noticing the big upset has happened already because the Cavaliers are going back home to force in game five. Oh, man. Not always the best, best player on that happened now because they were really expecting that they don't really choose anybody else's on the opinion of the game. They've really been smacking it down. And here's how you do with the total statistics right now. It's just in between the results. As I give it over to you, DJ, you're up. All right, and the takeover rate in between is 80-68% for the field goals for Miami Heat. They only had 64 free points with 90% free throws and 15 fast break points for Cavaliers, and they are taking a big time on the effort. Points in the paint, only 46 for Miami Heat. They were really are staggering in right now. Three second chance points for Cleveland Cavaliers. This happened to be just only that. 21 bench points This is what they take for the Cleveland Cavaliers, and it was 32 for Miami Heat. Four offensive rebounds here for the, for the Cleveland Cavaliers and only 23 defensive rebounds for Miami Heat. Only had that one struggling in, but that it didn't really change the matter of fact at that time. Four steals happened to be with Cleveland Cavaliers. That was a little bit of a painful and the idiotic way, but that didn't really change the opinion now. And only one block left here for Miami Heat. That was all that happened now, but hey, you can't just leave it alone. You don't make a mess of the spill. Can't let that happen. Three turnovers for Cleveland Cavaliers with 14 fouls and eight dunks. And for the Heat, biggest lead was 14 and 18-18 was their time position. That is all that happened. Now I send it over to you, Gangsta. You have your take. All right, thank you so much right now. I always appreciate you, man. Every time for three star players of the game, we start things over as I give it over to one of our biggest of the best. Bam out of with 19 points with, with nine rebounds, two assists, only had 7 out of 9 field goal attempt, and he just only made 24 performance effort with one dunk. He just had that one just staggering in, great play effort, and a driving bound doesn't happen to be what they're expecting, and you always can't be. 
Now in the second star of the game, I give it over to one of the greatest superstar player, Jimmy Butler, with 27 points, 3 rebounds, 6 assists, 13 out of 15 field goals with one three-pointer, and happened to beat 40 performance effort with one dunk. He really showed that off. He got a great perception out of it to get right into jamming. And he has been knocking that in there. Got a great one to take. And the number one star, the New Balance player of the game. I have really had a disappointment feeling for the Cavaliers as they already won that game. And they beat over the other team of the Heat. That goes to Donovan Mitchell with 36 points, 1 rebound, 5 assists, 12 out of 15 field goals with 7 three-pointers and 46 performance with 1 dunk. He's a star and he is ready to roll back into game 5 and get right into it. Well, I guess that's it for now. I mean, I hope you enjoyed this part of tonight's game, and we'll see you all again for our next couple of the games. If you're tuning us in for the NHL, thank you for your appreciation, and hopefully NBA will be coming back in in no time. This is DJ Beast, and along with the other side with Gangsta Beast and the crew, thanks for joining us, and we'll see you all again for the next game. Peace out, folks, for a while, as the NBA playoffs in 2K Sports style. And we are out of here. So long in Miami Vice, and of course, Cleveland, Ohio. DJ Beast and Gangsta Roll Out. Peace out. If you don't, if you don't, somebody will.